Hello, I am Dario Khabib, PhD in Physics from Michigan State University and postdoctorate at the Technion Israeli Institute of uh, Technology in Haifa, Israel in the 70s. Since then, Chief Technology Officer of CI Systems. This lecture will be about a spectral model for gas imaging in the field. It turns out that given specific requirements of gas detection threshold and concentration times path sensitivity, uh, CI Systems has developed a spectral radiometric model that can serve as the basis for a remote gas imager design. And once the instrument is built, this model can also serve as basis for the detection algorithm of this gas. The advantage of a wavelength-dependent model is that uh, it allows the selection of the best uh, wavelength region of sensitivity for the specific gas in question. It also allows to, to predict the influence of meteorological conditions, to estimate the detection threshold, cloud concentration path, time path sensitivity. And also, it allows to estimate statistical parameters such as probability of detection and false alarm rate. The assumptions that we make for this model are the following. The background behind any pixel in the gas cloud is the radiator of spectral radiance Rb of lambda, where lambda is the wavelength. The gas cloud is in a region of space of uniform gas concentration at uniform temperature, T of C. T of C is the same as the air temperature in the location of the cloud. Any pixel in the cloud is a radiator which partly transmits the background and partly self-emits its own radiation. The radiance transmitted by the cloud at each wavelength follows lambert bayer law and the spectral transmittance is designated tau of lambda. The radiance self-emitted by the cloud at each wavelength is the product of its spectral emissivity epsilon by the Planck function at temperature T of C. And the epsilon is equal to 1 minus tau of lambda. The total radiance reaching the measuring instrument from a pixel is affected by the spectral atmospheric transmittance at the distance of the observed object and it includes a contribution of the self-emission of the air between the observed object and the measuring instrument. The cloud measurement configuration with the IR camera is as in the diagram shown here. On the left side is a background self-emitting radiation called RP of lambda. The arrow shows the direction to which this radiation is emitted. In the middle of the figure there is a parallelepiped that stands to designate a cloud and uh, uh, on the right side uh, the image which is a gas image uh, receiving the radiation shown by the arrow R of lambda the basic equations that signify the model that I'm talking about are in this slide. The first equation is the rad radiance reaching the gas imager R of lambda. Uh, it, uh, it is made up of three terms. One on the left side of the first term is the background self-emission R of B multiplied by the transmittance of the cloud and the transmittance of the air path between the background and the imager. The second term is the Planck function of the air, P lambda of T of C, multiplied by the transmittance of the air column between the background and the imager, and 1 minus tau of rho L, which is the self-emission of the cloud itself. The third term is the Planck function at the air temperature T of C, P lambda of T of C, multiplied by the self-emission of the uh, air column, 1 minus tau A. The second 
equation is uh, a contrast uh, function Rb prime of lambda, uh, which is obtained by subtracting from the previous equation uh, the radians of a pixel of the background that does not go through the cloud. And uh, this Rb of prime of lambda is made of two terms, the Planck function P at the temperature of the air plus the difference between the Rb, the radiance of the background, minus the radiance of the air multiplied by the transmittance tau A of the air column between the background uh, and the uh, uh, gas image. If we manipulate the equations in an easy way, we attain the final result, which is an important equation, final equation that, as uh, you can see here at the bottom of the slide, the difference between the radiance reaching the gas imager and the Planck function at the air temperature Tc is an expression which has parameter, the, uh, what we call tau zero of sigma to the power rho L divided by rho zero of L times L zero, where rho L has the concentration and the path of the gas cloud, and rho L is the product of the two, and rho zero, L zero are the same parameters of concentration times path in a situation where both rho zero and L zero are known exactly, and tau zero is measured by a high resolution spectrometer. So finally, the uh, radiance reaching the gas uh, imager is the expression seen here, which is um, a sum of two terms. One is the Planck function at the air temperature, and one is uh, an additional term that has as a parameter, uh, again, the tau zero measured from a spectral photometer in uh, known conditions to the power of rho L divided by rho zero L zero. So if R lambda is measured, P of lambda Tc is known because the air temperature is known and, and P is a theoretical function. Tau A can be estimated by um, known uh, models. Uh, in this equation, all the parameters are known except rho L, and rho L is the final result that we want to get to. Once we know rho L from the measurement and the, uh, the other parameters that uh, are known, uh, then we know whether that particular pixel that we're looking at uh, has the gas that we want to detect or not. And not only we know if there is the gas, but we also know what the concentration times path of this gas is in that pixel. And that's the, basically the result that we want to get at. This slide shows the curves of how uh, the spectra of the various um, components of the previous equations uh, would look like uh, in uh, an example of situation where the background temperature is 30 centigrades, the air temperature is 20 centigrades, and uh, between the gas imager and the background, there is a cloud of gas uh, of 2% per meter. Um, in this case, the gas has uh, an absorption lines around 3.3 micron. Uh, then we can see that the top curve is in uh, pink color, is the Planck function of the, the background at temperature 30 centigrades. The bottom black curve is the Planck function at the temperature of the air, 20 centigrades. And the blue curve 
is the actual radiant spectrum reaching the gas imager. Uh, in the case there is a cloud uh, of 2% per meter in, uh, in the path. Then there is the um, question of uh, what is the smallest difference of concentration times path that the gas imager can detect. And uh, this question, of course, is related to the sensitivity of the gas imager. Uh, in usually, the sensitivity of an imager is designated by a quantity which is called noise equivalent temperature difference, or NETD. By knowing the NETD figure of merit that usually is given by the manufacturer of the camera that is used in the system, one can uh, reach the parameter which designates what is the smallest difference of gas concentration times path that the gas camera can detect. And this is done through an equation which is shown basically in this uh, slide. The ability of a gas camera to detect small differences in product of concentration times path of a gas cloud is an important parameter because this tells us how sensitive the gas camera is. Uh, this uh, parameter can be inferred from the and what is called the noise equivalent temperature difference of the camera, which is a figure of merit given by the manufacturer of the camera itself. When a gas is looked for by such camera, the best way of uh, configuring the system is to filter the radiation reaching the camera through a bandpass filter in the wavelength range of the absorption of the specific gas in question. In this case, we designate in this slide lambda 1 and lambda 2, the limits of the range of absorption of the gas. So the important figure of merit here, NETD 1, 2, on the left side of the equation, can be calculated by multiplying the noise equivalent temperature difference NETD given by the manufacturer of the camera and multiplying this parameter by the ratio of two integrals. In the numerator is the camera wavelength range without the filter in front of it is the integral of P lambda T T lambda divided by um, the integral of the Planck function at the room temperature T within the uh, lambda 1 and lambda 2 defined, that I defined before as the gas uh, absorption range. We now want to uh, get uh, an estimate of the probability of detection of a gas uh, in a certain pixel once it, the gas appears there. And we start by looking at the probability that um, the camera will give a certain signal T0 once it looks at a black body at temperature T0. This uh, probability is given by the equation in this uh, slide. Uh, we call it P of T and is given by 1 over the noise equivalent temperature difference times the square root of 2 pi and multiplied by the exponential of uh, t minus t0 squared divided by 2 NETD squared, negative exponential, which is the usual form of a Gaussian distribution. In this slide, we plot two Gaussian distributions of this type. One designating a, gla a gas cloud or the, pre the presence of the gas in a certain pixel. And the second one is a Gaussian distribution of the signal from the background. If we uh, define a threshold below which a signal is interpreted as the presence of a ga gas cloud, 
and above which the signal given by the camera is interpreted as a background without gas. Then from these functions given here, we can calculate the probability of detection of the gas. And this is done by integrating the gas cloud uh, function seen here from minus infinity to the threshold value. Similarly to the probability of detection, we can estimate a false alarm rate, which is the probability that a signal coming on the, from the background without gas will be interpreted as, ga as presence of gas. And this is given by the integral of the background Gaussian function seen here between minus infinity up to the threshold. In summary, the model described here provides a basis for an algorithm translating the signals of a pixel before and after the presence of the cloud into a path integrated concentration of the gas once it is detected. Such model may be enhanced in many different ways by comparing all or some of the signals from the camera pixels among themselves to improve detection probability and false alarm rate and also by averaging over many measurements over time in order to increase the sensitivity of the system.